Okay, here we have a fresh install of Cash Register Express. You'll see there's nothing in the database at the moment. This is brand new. So we're going to import some items and I'm going to show you what the problem is with food stampable items. Now if you go to the PC America website, they got a nice little handy tool called Generator. And if you just have a few items, you can use that. The FAQ site for PC America is really, really handy. It's very informational. So here's a little tool. The department, let's say grocery. Now the item number can be a barcode but we're just going to use the word soup and the description will be soup. The cost is $1.99 but the price is $2.99. In stock let's put two. Alright, add this item. Let me show you. Alright, so now we have a file in the right format. It's a TXT file and it's in the right order for injection for transfer into the database. So let's save this to the desktop. All right. So go to Options, Tools, Ask Guide Transfer. You should do a backup if you have a database already. Do a backup first before we do this. Click delimiter used, comma. Doesn't matter at this point with a blank database on which one you check here, but do check auto create missing department. Because we don't have a grocery department, this will make it. Import. Now, the food we're going to have. This can of soup is taxable, so I'm going to hit number two for tax one only. But you'll notice it doesn't have anything for food stampable. So we're going to import this. One new record. So let me go to that and I'll show you that item. Log out. You'll see the departments there and our soup. But you'll notice right in this space here, it should say FS for food stampable. So in order to fix that, you'll have to go to inventory, maintenance, find the item, and then click food stamp. We'll save that item. And then exit. Now you'll notice that it is food stampable, but you can't do that to all the items. Now watch this. Say I want to update the file, the stock inventory. Say I want to update inventory. So instead of two, I'm going to have. 30. So I go to tools. And I want to update. I want to add to stock. Now I don't need to hit auto create missing departments because I already have that one. So import that. Taxable 2 again. Okay. No new records, but one updated record. So let's go back hit soup. Now you'll notice it's not food stampable again. 
So we need to fix this. We can't go, if we have 5,000 items, we can't go and click food stampable and save on every one of them. So we have to have a bulk way of doing this. So let me show you how to do that in the next video.